wrong. So I thought I'd make a video. It's uh, quite relevant when you're running or uh, even walking, I guess, or cycling around the streets of Chiang Mai, especially these sort of back roads that you get. Uh, I'd say one of the things is uh, stray dogs. Uh, obviously, you know, if you're going around the neighborhoods in the Western world, you know, it's not common to see dogs that are, you know, roaming wild or dogs that aren't kept behind a fence, etc. Whereas it's, uh, it's pretty common here um, to see, especially wild dogs, we call them soy dogs. Uh, soy here means, I think it's street. So it's like basically saying street dogs. Um, I know certainly where I live in England, uh, it's, oh, it's, I, I've never seen it in my life. I've never walked down a, a random road and seen dogs loose, do you know what I mean? They've either been behind a fence or in someone's house or on a leash. Um, so yeah, I would say one of the ways of dealing with them, uh, I mean, I've just been running and um, if a dog does start barking at you or look like it's gonna attack you, it might seem like an instinct to carry on running. Um, that's, the, that's the wrong thing to do. The best thing to do is to stop running and face, face the dog. Um, it might sound like a bit of a macho thing to do, which uh, I guess it does require some bravery uh, to sort of face the face an animal that's trying to attack you head on, but it's kind of what you need to do. Um, you kind of need to face it, otherwise it's gonna continue trying to chase you and possibly even bite you, I'm not sure. The best thing to do best thing to do is to um, yeah just basically stop fa face the, the animal and not only by stopping you will uh, shock the animal because the animal didn't expect that the animal saw you as a I guess an easy target so it uh, starts chasing you, you know like it's its instinct whereas if you like a rabbit maybe or something whereas if you stop uh, it's going to be like, oh, what's going on here? And nine times out of ten, I've stopped. In fact, ten times out of ten, to be honest. I've stopped and even walked towards the creature, the dog, and they've actually run off. Um, I remember uh, about a group of six did it to me. It was actually, I think, my first first run with, uh, with Brittany. And anyway, we... Um, yeah, so we were walking around these back streets and we saw a bunch of dogs. And anyway, we um, straight away, we saw these dogs and, you know, my, my first instinct was to immediately stop, face them, and make myself look bigger. And it was quite funny to see as well because about five or six dogs just stopped what they were doing, whimpered, and basically uh, backed down. And uh, sorry, I'm just crossing the road uh, and back down, and basically just, you know, says, "Yep, you're the alpha." End of. So you just got to act like the alpha to them. You know, if you act like a beta, they're going to, um, you know, it doesn't matter whether you're man or woman uh, or child, even or whatever. You know, if you act like the dog's alpha, I'm not saying that you're better than the dog or the animal, but you just have to act like, you know. Because obviously dogs, they see uh, they see a, a leadership. You know, they see a hierarchy. You know, they see people, creatures, whatever that are above them, uh, hierarchy, hierarchy in a hierarchy, and they see creatures below them. Now, creatures below them are fair game. And I'm not like I said. You know, I'm obviously vegan. I believe in uh, you know animal equality and stuff. But in these scenarios. You have to sort of remind the dog that, yeah, I'm, I'm bigger than you, I'm the alpha. And then um, the dog will stop in its tracks. I mean, unless of course you're dealing with, so let me get a little run up here. Unless of course you're dealing with a dog that's severely rabid or I guess careless dog. And that's not usually the case. So yeah, so basically highlighting bullet points if you're running or walking or riding, uh, if you're riding, I would uh, suggest speeding up. 
uh, if you can. Um, because obviously it's a lot harder to stop and get off when you're on a bike. Uh, if you're only going to slow speed though, you can stop and turn around and whatever, but I would definitely recommend if you're riding, if it's possible, just get off the saddle and uh, have a little sprint and the dog will soon get bored. But yeah, definitely if you're walking or running, I would say stop, face, face the uh, animal, dog. I mean, I would I wouldn't know if this would work on a, a tiger or a bear or whatever. I mean, the same works on bears, but yeah. So yeah, if you're facing off with a dog, I would say um, face it, act big, don't show that you're scared, and it, chances are it's gonna either back down or nine, nine times out of 10, run off, or at least stand its ground versus chasing, so. And then walk backwards for a little while. Don't, um, don't, do a show of strength and then immediately uh, immediately turn around because that's the, again then showing weakness it's like yeah yeah I'm strong and then it's like oh I'm weak again so that's, that's how they're gonna see it so yeah um, that's my tips anyway uh, what to do with stray dogs or even even if it's an owner dog I guess um, yeah, so I hope this helps anyone coming to Chiang Mai or I guess anywhere in, in sort of Asia really, uh, places like this. Or I guess, you know, you could apply it to, uh, if you're running past uh, in, in the West, you know, if you're running past someone's house and you accidentally left the gate open and they've got a big dog there, I guess the same would apply to that. So um, yeah, hope this is helpful. See you in the next video everyone.